How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm fantastic. How about yourself? Doing great. You look gorgeous Thank you. in your Details by Naomi. Thanks uh, for Details by Naomi. I got a new robe. Details by Naomi, you heard my prayers. Yeah, I love it. I love it too. It just it just brings out you. So what do we have today? All right, so a lot of you have been asking for the donut recipe since I posted it about two days ago. So today I am making donuts from scratch just for you. So the ingredients, we're gonna need four and a quarter cups of um, all purpose flour. You can also use bread flour. Um, we have two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast. A third cup of sugar, two eggs, one teaspoon salt, and I also melted a whole stick of butter. For the milk, this is what's going to allow your donuts to be fluffy and light. First, you're going to scald it to 180 and cool it down to about 110, and I'm at 105 now. I'm going to warm it back up in the microwave to bring it back up to 110. But this is what's going to make you fluffy and light donuts. To cut the donut circles, we're going to use a cookie cutter. It has different sizes. So we're going to use, let's say, this one to cut the donuts and then this little one to make the holes in the center. Next, we're going to add all the dry ingredients into our mixing bowl the yeast first then the sugar because sugar with yeast is a really great combo it activates the yeast faster you you want to make sure you don't put the salt at the same place with the yeast because it deactivates it oh wow so we're just gonna prop, um, pour the salt on this corner over here that was a good tip yeah we're gonna bring it over to the stand mixer and it already has the dough hook attached. We're just gonna start mixing all the dry ingredients. Then once it's all mixed in, we're gonna add the wet ingredients little by little. So in goes the melted butter. As you can see has the perfect consistency is soft but still not very sticky Move it from the and to this lightly greased bowl put it in there and cover it with a plastic wrap sweetheart look good doing this so good doing this. <laughs> you're taking it off and acting as if you're not the one that did it yourself. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Way to help your dough rise faster is by keeping your oven steamy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some hot boiling water in this bowl right here. Oh, it's hot. It is boiling hot. <laughs> and I am gonna place it in the oven that the um, dough is rising in and it will keep the oven steam. Okay. Oh, so the object of the game is to keep warmth in the oven right. without really having to turn right. the oven on. So the hot water is going to help give the oven a warm environment without you turning on your oven at all. So, oh, wow. Yeah. Good tip. Gold standard. My old Mrs. Chef O.P. M. <laughs> all right. So it's been more than an hour. It's been an hour, right? And yep. the dough has risen perfectly. It has doubled in size oh he has ascended <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna 
lightly flour the surface. We asked why we greased the bowl. It mm -hmm. was so that we would get minimal uh, sticking to it. So, hey. Okay. You're a very wise woman. <laughs> So everything just, you do with cooking, it's not just the cooking, it's doing everything with wisdom. Right. I like that. So, we're going to cut this into two with our dough scraper. Okay, right down the center. And then put the other half No, that thing that you're measuring, all that, but what is it called? That, this? that, where do you find that? Oh, yeah, so this was w w one of the, um, stuff we got with a team haul mm -hmm. and it's so cool right so it gives you measurements and let's you can see. see inches here it tells you how wide of a circle you wanted to roll your dough in like how far you want it to go like this is 12 inches round and i love this the most so so if you wanted to know how many teaspoons make a tablespoon or oh, wow. a cup it tells you everything so we're just gonna roll out the dough um, a third of an inch thick. That's a so so a that's ruler? an inch, right? That's a ruler. So we're gonna do about a third. So right about here. I hope you find the uh, relationships where your husband likes to do things with you too. Okay, go around it and punch out these circles. Rock it back and forth like so. I can tell. Allowing it to rise, cutting it out, all that time waiting. It's about three hours. Details by Naomi. Details by Naomi. Neo center holes, the donut holes. Like so. I'll live on being cherished. I learned that the good way. Oh, seriously, women thrive. <laughs> they can't have enough, and I love it. So at this point, we're gonna let the oil heat up to 375. These cook real fast, so as soon as you drop them in, wait a few seconds and turn them over. So this is why you have the preferred temperature, right. the oil. Okay. Right. Thank you for that. Let's sleep now. <laughs> it's a wrap. Yeah. Thank you. We appreciate you. That's it? Yeah. That's, that's less than like... They, they go real quick. The holes, in them, the Jason? Yeah. What do you think? What, uh, what do you think? Oh, it's really good. Even though I haven't eaten it. I'm going to do what Jason's doing. Clayton? It's so yummy. Hmm? It's amazing to be. What did you say? It's so yummy. Good. So, what do we say to mommy? Thank you, mom. Thank you, mom. That's perfect. Right, enjoy yourself and clean after.